Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sense to Pop channel. Today we are going to be having a short but fun video for you. We are going to be doing a deck profile for Black Broly, not Dark Broly, but Black Broly with the Zenkai support from the Anniversary 5 box set. Uh, this leader I really think has been the like uh, the most playable that we have uh, up to now. It has quite a bit of support, quite a bit of good support. So without further ado, let us take a look at this deck. So let's talk about the leader. The leader does some pretty wonderful thing. If you pop something on your board, your opponent chooses one card in their hands and discard it. If you discard a card from your hands, your opponent pops something from their board. So that's kind of like easy way for you to understand what is going on here. We're gonna be um, this leader by himself. I think it's okay. This is when the Zenkai boost comes in from the Anniversary 5 support. Uh, this leader, I think, got one of the best support uh, outside of Vegito. I think Vegito, I think, got the best one, but outside of Vegito, this leader gets the best one. Look at this amazing artwork for the Zenkai leader, right? So this is a 30k double striker, but it's only during your turn, your opponent's turn, this card is going to be gone. Seriously, if this card can stay on the board, it's a little bit broken. Okay, so what does he do here, right? His uh, Z Awakening, it's actually really easy. It has to be your turn, four or less, you tap two and you're able to just evolve on top of your Black Broly. And it has a very powerful uh, dis ability when it comes into play. You discard two cards from your hands. And then you play a Saiyan Berserker from a drop, just like that. Or we're going to talk about Saiyan Berserker later. Then you're going to swing at 30k double strike. The thing is, when you want to do this, you swing, get that card draw first, all right? So draw that card first and then tap two, bam, goes for the Z Awakening 30k double striker. Uh, two calls 30k double striker that plays Saiyan Berserker is just very, very good. And it's a Zenka leader, so it should be untouched and uh, your play should be uh, pretty much uh, okay, okay? So, the other thing is he has to activate main. You choose one non-black card from battle area and put it into your drop area. Then you choose up to one of your opponent's battle card and send it to your opponent's warp. And then they send one card from their hands to their warp. So it's pretty, pretty powerful for what it is. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay during your opponent's turn. Admittedly, a little broken, but um, yeah, so it's it's pretty good. But let's talk about the Saiyan Berserker. Super Saiyan 3 Broly Saiyan Berserker, it's an extremely powerful card. When you play him, you choose one Broly card from hand, seven or less, and then you play it. The option is uh, Broly the Rampaging Horror, Broly the Supreme Berserker. Both cards are really, really good. Broly the Rampaging Horror, it's one of my favorite cards in the game. I think it looks really, really beautiful. It's the card that got me playing the game itself. And then Broly the Supreme Berserker, however, it's the more powerful card in this context, okay? So the Rampaging Horror, when it's played, you choose two cards in your opponent's hands at random, and then you discard it. It is so powerful because it, it takes away the choice from your opponent's hands. Hopefully against you, their hand size is not already very big. So there is a chance for you to take two cards that they want and then you put it into the drop area. Broly the Supreme Berserker itself, you want it for the burst ability. And it's a 30k crit with barrier though, so it's extremely powerful. So what you want to do here is, if your opponent has three or less cards in their hands, three or less cards in their hands, uh, you go for another swing. It becomes a dual attacker. If your opponent has more than three cards in their hands, your opponent reveal their hands to you, you take one card and put it into the drop area. That's how powerful it is. You really want it for the burst ability because that's really, really good. However, these two cards, you really need it to be in your hands. So how are you going to do that? It's when BT19 drops, we're going to have Broly the Villainous Threat. This guy, it's an activate main. If your leader is a Broly card, you tap one, you send this card from your drop to your warp, and you return one Broly card without super combo with seven or less from your drop to your hand. So if you kind of uh, burst, um, because your leader also bursts on his unawakened side, if you just happen to burst into Broly or Rampaging Horror, you need it in your hands, tap one, just return your card back into your hands. It's just so good. Uh, with this card itself. So uh, we kind of need a little bit of BT19 help for this deck. So this is the sequence of play that I would recommend you, right? Swing with Black Broly, draw that one card, choose, if you have it, choose one of your battle cards, pop it, non-black battle card to pop it, your opponent chooses one card in the hand, discard it. Tap two, play this ca card on top, and then your opponent now has to deal with a 30k double striker, right? 
After that, because you uh, discard two cards from your hand, play your uh, Supreme Berserker. If you play a Rampaging Horror, your opponent has to discard two. Uh, your opponent has to discard two of your choice. Then, oh, you play your Supreme Berserker. Now your opponent has to deal with a 30k crit that uh, it that has the ability to look at their hands already. So that is really, really disgusting. Now, we're gonna take a look at the activate main of the Zenka Leader. The Zenka Leader can choose one of your non-black battle cards and then KO it, uh, put it into drop. So you can choose SS3 Broly, same Berserker, put it into the drop, then summon your SCR. Uh, right now, this Agent of Destruction, because of the reprint from the Anniversary Box, it's really cheap, it, go it goes at 30, including the original one. I actually have three right now, so that's awesome. I really love that card a lot. And uh, now you have this card in your hands, right? This is the game ender. This is really like the game ender. So now the question is, hey Sensu Pop, you're saying that, okay, Broly, the ultimate agent of destruction, how consistent it is to have it in your hands? It's actually really consistent. That is why I said like Supreme Berserker, it's kind of like the better card in this deck because he has a burst five. You wanna put as many cards as you have into your drop area because you, if you hit a Broly ultimate agent of destruction, either you draw into it or in your life, you get back, uh, you get the cards in your life uh, into your hands or if it goes into drop area, you have the ability to take it back into your hands. How? With uh, Broly Invincible Agent of uh, Destruction. This is a Broly, so if you don't have it, you can use the BT-19 cards to bring this card back into your hand by one energy, and then you tap one. Uh, if you burst into a Broly Ultimate Agent of Destruction, you tap one, put this card into drop, and take this card and put it into your hand. Just like that. Just like that. All right? So, pretty consistent. I would say so. This is a point I'm gonna add a disclaimer, right? If you want a better deck profile for this Black Broly, look elsewhere. But if you want a really fun one, this is the deck, deck profile for you because we are gonna be playing with this promo. No worries, it's a cheap one. Uh, Broly, unknown power. How powerful is this card? Unknown. Why is it? It's just perfect because really, we don't know how powerful this card is. But is it fun? It's super fun though. Let me explain how this card works. The card is this, right? Uh, it costs one. When you play him, your opponent gets to take a look at your life. If your opponent do take a look at your life, they, you get to draw two cards immediately. If they don't, you don't draw cards. If they do, you draw two cards. Okay, your opponent can choose two cards from your life and put it into the drop area. And if they do, you take that many cards and put it back. They can choose one, you take that many cards and put it back. If they choose zero, you choose, uh, you choose zero cards and put it back. The reason is this, because of his activate main. You can evolve into any Broly with the evolve skill on top of this Broly card. Okay, so just tap two and you're able to play on top of the him. That's pretty powerful, okay? Uh, so your options are either Rampaging Broly, Broly the Supreme Berserker, or Rampaging Life from Bio Broly. The th trick is, I play 14 copies of this card, including that uh, Deathless Sig Death Seeker Broly? Yeah, so I play 40 copies of this card. If they're gonna put it into the drop area, I will have the Broly to able to bring the cards back into my hands for uh, Supreme, the, the same Berserker, right? If they don't do it, I would have to and just evolve on top of it. If they don't look at it, uh, it's fine. Then most probably I have the chance to evolve because 14 copies, usually I'm gonna have it. If they do look at it, I draw two cards, right? There's uh, one game where I actually, my opponent actually took two cards and put it into the drop area. And he said that there's no more evolved one. I don't care. I took two cards, put it on top uh, at random from the top of my deck. I tapped two and guess what? It was a, it was a very bridging horror and a supreme berserker. <laughs> <laughs> evolve on top of it. I get to draw two cards, my opponent discard two cards, and now he has to deal with a 30k uh, double striker. Ah, uh, no, 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 I, I actually do the Supreme Berserker, so my opponent has to deal with uh, me looking at their hands and discard one card, and a 30k crit in his face. And I burst five, burst into one of my uh, Agent of Destruction, and then I tap one, use that Broly, and just to take it back into my hand, just to do the Supreme uh, Berserker. A combo right so this is this is if you understand how this deck uh, this card works you can only play it during the the starting of the game right don't do it at the end of the game because your chances are super super low by then but if you have eight cards in your life one card in your life do it play one two, 
mulligan for this card, play one, and then look at your opponent and see what does the, your opponent wants to do. It's super fun. I love this deck. Uh, I love this card for off in my deck. All right. Hey, guys. So this is the deck profile itself. Like I said, it's a short video because uh, it is actually a really, really fun deck. One thing to take note is I do play two copies of Broly Ring. Why the Broly Ring? The, bro uh, the Broly Ring is because your ultimate agent of destruction needs you to be at one life, okay? So that is when uh, when you do your same Berserker, you can take one or two life from your... Uh, you can take one or two life to bring yourself down to one. So if at the earlier start of the game where you don't have agent of destruction and you're not going to finish the game, don't play Broly Ring. Okay, play Broly Ring when you do same Berserker, when you want to finish the game, bring yourself down to one life so that your ultimate agent of destruction uh, can work. So that's how you kind of do it, all right? Uh, so we kind of need to wait until BT-19 drops for the Venus uh, uh, threat, Broly, to, to come. However, right now what I do is I just spread out Broly into more Deathless and uh, more of the rest of the other stuff, all right? And uh, the SS Super Saiyan Broly, the green and the red one, that's a pretty good card if you want to do it. But so far, like I said, this is just a really, really fun deck. Uh, I'm really having so much fun playing this deck and it's just uh, pretty, very really great. So the Freezer Charismatic Villain, you can use it to pop it to make your opponent discard one. <laughs> also. Yeah, and Piccolo, some people play Demigra, but you can play Piccolo, just draw a card, whichever just works better for you. I like it to have higher life points, uh, especially at the start of the game, uh, when it comes to Broly Unknown Power, but it really depends on you what, what is better, alright? So hey guys, so this is basically the deck profile, I hope you like it, it's a short video, and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy playing the Dragon Ball Super Card game, definitely hope you guys are okay, see you guys in the next video, alright? Ciao, bye.